Look at that face. <laughs> They're just wonderful to watch. They look like giant stuffed animals. Um, they don't appear aggressive, threatening to anybody. They're just lovable. We just got a brand new camera system and it's fantastic because we have high def cameras and we can get high quality images of Mei Shang. We are in the um, kind of panda pregnancy season right now. So Mei Shang and Tian Tian, um, well, they attempted to breed. She was inseminated on March 30th. And now we are just eagerly awaiting what we hope is a cub. The cameras are spectacular because at this point she becomes less cooperative with us. So it's harder for us to get hands-on training sessions with her. And now we have these new cameras with the high def. And so a lot of the physiological changes that we would have to see in person before, we can use the cameras to zero in on and we can record and document them. And it's, it's like we were right next to her. It's gonna be critical to animal care to get good images of that cub when it's born. And if you go in the den with her, you're going to be, that disturbs her a little bit. So we wanna minimize the amount of time we actually spend with her and maximize the time we can view her outside of the den. This time of year when we're doing the heavy watch, she's basically sleeping a lot. She'll go into her den and shred bamboo, which is nest building, but she's really, really sleeping a lot now, or just resting. Her eyes have been open, but she's resting a lot. A lot of people thought that Mei Shang was too old to have a cub, and she did have a cub last year. Um, it was born premature and it didn't survive, but that does mean that she's still capable of having a baby, and so we're really excited and hopeful that she can have one this year. During the breeding season, we actually monitor Tian as much as we do Mei Shang. So both of their behaviors indicate impending estrus and breeding. When it comes to the pregnancy, we focus pretty much entirely on Mei Shang. We do monitor Tian Tian, just basic health and welfare, make sure he's okay, because he may feel a little neglected at this time of year as all eyes are on Mei Shang and people forget about him a little bit. So we make sure that we take good care of him and give him a few extra treats just so he knows that uh, we're, we're paying attention. I think it would be really exciting as far as having one born in captivity here at this time. Um, a newness whenever you think of life coming you know, on board into the world, whether it's animal or human. Well, I just think it's a big symbol. It's a big symbol for China. It's a big uh, symbol for conservation uh, and obviously trying to uh, save as many animals as possible, especially with deforestation and a lot of problems like that. So hopefully uh, I think the panda will serve as a symbol for uh, continuing that struggle to keep as many animals alive as possible. I always think at the National Zoo, we serve at the pleasure of the pandas. So just think about how much technology has changed in the past few years. This system, it's absolutely fantastic. It's easy for us to manage. It gives us great, clear images of the pandas and hopefully of the panda cub. And it provides great images for folks at home who are watching from the website.